everyone welcome to my channel my name is Laura and I'm so excited to have you here so I can share some fun arts and craft projects with you and I'd like to thank you so much for joining me and if you're new here consider giving me the thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell to get the notifications from my channel all right, so let's get started as I show you how to make this really lovely watercolor pot of lavender. Now I've gone ahead and I have sketched a plant pot on our watercolor paper, which is a 140 pound cold press, so it doesn't have a lot of tooth to it. Um, and by that I mean that it's not highly textured and highly absorbent um, and it's really nice for a quick little painting like this. So along with our pot I've just done a few vague lines to indicate our lavender. I've gone ahead and I have mixed a few colors that I think I'd like to use in this painting and just run with it guys just uh, experiment play around and and see what appeals to you these paintings are so quick and so easy to do that you can do one on top of another um, experimenting with those colors and just just have loads of fun with it so along with that I've got myself a little glass of water a variety of paint brushes here just use whatever you have on hand and I use a little spray bomb I've pre wet this but um, I like to use it to wet down my paper quickly and evenly but I also use it periodically to wet down my palette just to keep my paints nice and wet so we're going to start off with our flower pot and what I want to do is I want to take and I want to lay down a very very light wash of purple on that and that's going to just tie some of those shadows in with our lavender it just gives a nice glow to this underneath the rest of the paints that we're going to use for our painting so I'm just adding water as I go along to thin it out to lighten the the paint as I move down the pot and you can see I'm just kind of whipping through this right without having I'm not taking a, a ton of time to make sure that there's lots of detail or I've stayed inside the lines Doo -doo -doo. okay so nice light coat on our pot there and now what we're going to do is we're going to start to pick up some of our light yellows and light greens and if you've worked with watercolors before you know that you always start off with the lightest colors and then you work towards your darker colors and that's because with watercolors unlike acrylics you cannot or at least you're less likely to be successful adding your light colors on top of your dark colors so it's always a good rule of thumb to start off with those those lighter tones so we're going to just water this down a little bit and then we're simply going to start to create the stalks for our lavender. It's just some nice loose strokes upwards and then we'll move into a few darker tones here unless we want to keep nice and wet almost looks like grass
right, so now that we've dried a little bit, I'm going to go in, I'm just going to touch up a few spots in here. And by that I mean I just want to make my purples a little brighter, a little more vivid. Just gives that greater sense of detail. And we were getting pretty wet before this dried. So I just wanted to bump it up just a little bit. Alright, I think we've finished with our watercolor paints at this point. So I'm going to set them off to the side and I'm going to introduce my Sharpie. And we know that I absolutely love to use a Sharpie with watercolor paintings just to bring out some of that detail. I just think it's kind of a cool twist on a really great medium anyway. So I'm just going to start here and a, a lot of the time the when we use the felts or the Sharpie it's a very subtle effect. Um, you really don't want it to take over in your painting. You just want to add those little details. And there is our watercolor painted pot of lavender. So I'd like to say thank you so much for popping by and joining me today as we work together to make this lovely little lavender painting. I appreciate your thumbs up if you enjoyed this. It really helps my channel. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to get the notifications from my channel. So until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk to you soon. Take care.